So many historic moments have played out before our eyes in major championships, and today two of the top players in the world are set to tee off. Rory McIlroy holding a one-shot lead over Martin Keimer. It's the final round of the U.S. Open Championship at Chambers Bay. You know, going into you know the final round of any golf tournament with a chance to win, especially a major championship, it's a huge buzz. You know, that's the only way I can describe it. It's the best feeling a golfer can have because you're in the mix and you're in with a chance to win one of the biggest tournaments in the world. It's an incredible feeling. It's something that um, you may only get to experience a handful of times in your life. So, you know, that, that atmosphere, you want to soak it in as much as you can and, and really enjoy it. Rory McIlroy coming off a strong performance yesterday, now making his way to that first tee box and looking to add another major championship trophy to his already growing collection. And Rich, there's no doubt both golfers will be nervous until they get that very first tee shot under their belt. The first tee shot is, is probably the most difficult because you've been thinking about that shot since the night before. Once you get that first shot out of the way, you calm down, you're a little more settled, you're not quite as anxious or nervous, and you sort of get into the rhythm of the round. You want to get off to the best start possible, and, and obviously that starts with, with that first tee shot. Well, there he is, Rory McIlroy, a past U.S. Open winner, set to tee off on what could be an historic day of golf, set against the beautiful Puget Sound. And he's underway. Frank, it looks like a good one. Yeah, it looked like a free-throwing swing, that's for sure. It certainly betrayed the nervous feeling that uh, we thought he might be feeling on the first tee. And a huge tee shot. But you've been there, Frank. Nerves are good on the first tee, even for great players. If you can control them. Perfect lie here, Frank. What's Rory got? Well, expect something just slightly right of the flag. You want to avoid the hill and the bunkers on the right. And there's a little bit of a... Uh, a gut or a chasm just over that left side of the green. So left, not a good option. About 145 yards away. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Looks to be a good one, Frank. Oh, nestles inside 15 feet. So a birdie chance coming up for Rory. Frank, to win this many majors this young is impressive. It's historic. What makes McElroy so good? He runs to the beat of a different drum. Uh, it's his own rhythm, it's his own style. Um, he's critiqued sometimes, I've done it, where, you know, some poor decision making. But in the end, he's naturally aggressive. And, and that's why we see these sparks of brilliance. That's his way of playing. And, and to be perfectly honest now, I hope he doesn't change that. And early advantage, McElroy. I think making putts early in a round is very important. It, it sets the tone for the day and it gives you some positive momentum early. You see the ball go into the hole and it gives you confidence. You face a downhill putt at a US Open with greens that are as tricky as that, it just makes it even more difficult. I feel like you always face important putts no matter when it is, but obviously they're that much more important when you know it's the final round of a major. Now over to the second, and McElroy with a challenging downhill putt. Frank, I know it's early, but if he drops this, this could really spark some momentum for the round. But this putt will be very, very quick. You've got to be careful because the ball can quite easily take off once it gets past the hole. And in. What a way to start this final round. Back-to-back -back birdies. After an impressive drive, Rory just 165 yards out faced with this uphill approach shot. It's going to play closer to about 175 yards, though, Rich, because of that uphill. So probably an extra club. But uh, Rory, even though he grew up in Northern Ireland, where it's windy, is a naturally high ball hitter. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. No, it's a good strike. Good swing by McElroy. And no problem finding the putting surface. Rory McElroy looking to take advantage with this putt. Oh. 
Frank, this is the kind of start every player wants. Yeah, swinging it well. Certainly hitting the ball in the right place. There's some times when there might be a weight on a tee box or you've played your shot and you're waiting on your playing partners to hit their shots and, and you just look around and you know, you realize you know, where you are, you know, because you don't really, you know, you don't appreciate it that much whenever you're, you're playing and you know, that's not what you're thinking about. You're thinking about trying to win a golf tournament and not really you know, taking in the beauty of your surroundings. Heat of a U.S. Open championship, you're thinking about grinding out pars, but it's hard to miss this view, Frank. They call it Olympus, and with good reason. It certainly is. A lovely view, virtually, of the whole golf course from here, but um, this hole, that's the one that Roy's going to worry about right now. Downhill, uh, so it's going to play well short of its normal yardage. You're going to have to club accordingly. And look at the shape of that green, how it angles from the left to the right. Consequently, when that flag is on that right section, you have to fly that ball every inch of the way. should be pretty good right there We're on the safe side stuffed it in there beautiful shot settles in over the putt oh it just shaves the edge So just a formality here. Did the job right there. Now it is Martin Keimer all alone. Not unlike that tree out in the distance. They actually call that one lone fur here at 15. So McElroy is the chaser. And not only is he chasing, Rich, uh, he has to get this up and down. Very difficult flop shot. It's a high risk shot. Trying to get that ball up very quickly over the little pot bunk and then somehow get the ball to land soft on these very fast and very firm greens. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Rich, you get that feeling. If there's going to be a moment, I think that moment is now. Trying to clean this up, make his par. Struggling a bit with the flat stick and a drop shot here at the 15th hole. Not what he had in mind when he stepped to the tee, but it would be just one drop shot. This for Bogey. Well, too bad he gives one back. Final few holes to play, especially of a major championship like the U.S. Open. Um, you know, it's what you've worked so hard for. It's what, you know, you've put all those hours of practice in for. And, you know, this is your moment. This is your moment to see what you've got against the best players in the world and test yourself at the ultimate level. Um, there's obviously a lot of pressure. Uh, you know, you don't want to let an opportunity like this pass you by. You don't want to let it slip. So to stay really focused, really concentrated, try to take one shot at a time, try and put the result out of your mind, control what you can control. Um, but saying that it is difficult with so many things going on around you, whether it be the crowds or it could be the person that you're going up against. You know, there's so many things that you can't control, but you know, the things that you can control, that's what you have to concentrate on and that's what you have to try and you know, do to the best of your ability. And if you can do that, that's what gives you the best chance to, to try and win a, a huge tournament like the US Open. So here at the 17th hole, tie atop the leaderboard, two former US Open champions, two holes to play. This is one of golf's best moments. We talked about mental toughness on the first tee. It certainly comes into play here right now. And the 17th hole is named derailed and it is going to be more than a test for both of these and could very well be the defining hole. This is a good-looking shot. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. 
Uh, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that second shot. Rory now for par to put a little pressure on Keimer. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. And no problems there. You know, keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. Frank, this has been just a fantastic week, and these last few shots are going to determine the entire championship. Rich, normally you'd think par on the 72nd hole would be good enough to win a U.S. Open, but this par 5 is certainly reachable by these players. Par, no doubt, will not be good enough. What a great drive on the final hole. You know, Rich, so often we associate uh, U.S. Ovens with just a straight slog, par after par, but this is a real treat. Keimer at his best, McElroy at their best, playing anything other than U.S. Open style. This is a totally different generation. Brilliant golf by the two Europeans. And a solid shot by Keimer. Hear a pin drop right now. It all comes down to this. This is for the U.S. Open. He's done it. What a gutsy performance. McElroy fighting for 72 grueling holes, fighting through the tough conditions, fighting off a stiff challenge from the great Martin Keimer. And Rory McIlroy has now won the U.S. Open Championship yet again. It's an incredible feeling to know when that final putt goes in on the 18th green that, you know, you've won, you know, a major championship at U.S. Open. Uh, you know, to put your name alongside the names on that trophy, that's something that's going to stay there forever, and it's something that... I don't think you quite come to terms with right there and then. You know, it takes a few days to sink in, but you know, it's the ultimate, you know, it's the ultimate achievement in, in a professional golfer's life is winning a major championship. But at that moment in time, there's, there's no better feeling in the world. You know, to be able to do it again and put my name on that trophy uh, another time would, you know, it, it, would, it would be very, very special.